she is suing him and some others for two million dollars and she happened to go on a show that is downloading in the background to discuss her finances and you're like henry what 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 do you mean she's suing i'm like she is suing somebody for two million dollars okay and you don't you don't you don't want to do that uh in in the midst of a lawsuit they'll tell you two things uh don't talk about the lawsuit and the second thing is don't talk about anything that could be related to the lawsuit and you can't sue someone or you can you sue someone for two million dollars and then you go on this show and it looks like you have no goddamn money so now the lawsuit may come off as a frivolous uh cash grab and we're not going to listen to the whole uh video we're just going to cover the highlights because the highlights are what's important she kind of tells on herself and only an investigator would probably catch it like yo Hi, my name is Adrian. Yo, what, what do you, why, why would you say that? If I'm her lawyer, I'm looking at this a certain way. If I'm Ms. Kip's lawyer, I'm looking at this a certain way. And I, me as the investigator, I'm definitely looking at this like a certain way. So this is Adriana and he does great content on family stuff. Okay. So we're about to play the first couple minutes. Fair use, fair use. So what does she say? Put on your investigator ears, put on your lawyer ears. <clears throat> If you didn't like the stream by now, like the stream. If you laughed, you better like the goddamn stream. Adriana Lee, and I'm 22 years old. I'm in Austin, Texas, and this is Financial Audit. What do you do for a living here in Austin? Um, I'm a content creator. All right, content creator. Shout out to all the content creators. Okay, what kind of content are we creating? Um, I primarily, well, I guess I started um, with like Twitch streaming, but I also do YouTube and Instagram and everything short okay. form, you know, right. oh, mass sick. short form posting. So, oh, TikTok too. Yeah. How many followers do you have on TikTok, Instagram? Um, one hundred and nine k. All right. So she's a fellow content creator, just like me. And I have to pause it for fair use, guys. We're not just about to just let this thing rock. Um, so she's a content creator. Part of being a content creator, you got you got to create content. So remember, you want to look at this not from a a regular viewer. Point, point of view, you want to look at it from a lawyer point of view because she has a, a pending lawsuit, guys. A pending lawsuit. So she has 112 on TikTok and all this other stuff. She's about to get into it. TikTok, 112K Instagram. I'm jealous of that. Yeah. You people won't follow me there. Okay. Instagram's really tough, but if you post a lot of reels, some of them might blow up and that's where I got most of my followers. Gotcha. So. Uh, and then how many do you have on YouTube subscribers? Um, I only have 15K right now. Okay, yeah, definitely on the smaller side it's for the, the YouTube, hardest. but past that monetization yeah. subscriber part threshold. Yeah, so. I get like um six dollars a month from there. All right, so now she's lying. She's talking about she gets six dollars a month from YouTube with fifteen thousand subs of uh, subscribers. Like now she's capping, but uh, maybe it could be some some um strategy behind behind saying she only gets six dollars a month because remember in the lawsuit she's saying my wages went down my stuff went down okay <laughs> so okay you don't make your living there no and but how, i put the most money into that one so how many subscribers paid followers or whatever on twitch um it varies some like between the months but right now i only have like 100 a hundred paid subscribers on twitch so that's bare minimum $500 a month. And shout out to all everyone in, who joined the Resilient Army. Appreciate you guys. Because I haven't streamed in like two months. Well, I have, but not like <laughs> streamed, you know? Okay. Like all I right. click go live and I'm like, hey, and then I like take another break. So across all... All right. So me as an investigator and a lawyer, oh, I'm not a lawyer, but I'm looking at the lawyer. This is going to be evidence if this shit goes to trial. She's saying her income is down as a result of everything that's going on with the alleged defamation, but she just admitted right here on camera that she's streaming less. And the thing about streaming, the more you stream, the more money you could potentially make. That's, that's generally how it goes. So if I'm, you know, the opposing lawyer, I'm like, hey, she, the reason she's not making as much money is because she streams less. I'll put that shit right in my answer. And if I am her lawyer, which I am not, I'm like, what the hell are you doing on this goddamn interview? Why didn't you run this shit past me? You are not supposed to be doing this. But, you know, hey, she needs content. She needs subs. She want to get, you know, people, her name out there. Uh, she may think this is a good way to go about it. But this ultimately can hurt her case. And I'm just going to break down every way it's hurting her case from both sides. 
Okay. All sources. What are we bringing in on average? So take your high months, take your low months. Average. What are we bringing in on a monthly basis? Right My now? average um, is four thousand to six thousand. Six. So that's like livable. We're living off. God damn. Hey. Content creation. Yeah. You're making more than me. Like yo. Well, look, I don't make no money off YouTube. So. Uh. <laughs> 100, 100, 100 subs on uh, Twitch, which they take 50%. So that's what, 250 a month? Sorry, guys, I said 500 earlier. But anyway, let, let's keep it going. And Prime subs is $1.50 each. So not too much money she making, but four to 6K per month off Twitch and YouTube and content? Bruh, come look, that's on the low end. On the, on the high end, it's 72. On the low end, is 48K. This is livable. And they can subpoena her profits 100%. That's really good. I mean, that's more than livable. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. And okay. Well, how do you feel living off of that and creating content and all that stuff? Um, I feel good. I wish that my money came from YouTube more than it did on platforms that like require my subscribers to pay out of pocket like Twitch and stuff, because if it was YouTube, they just got to watch a couple ads and it's this is the best platform for content creators. I mean, not to be a shill, but I love YouTube. It is the it's best. It's like the best. Hey, and I just want to echo what they say. It is the absolute best, bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I look, I'm not gonna lie. It is the best platform for content creation. I kid you not. Uh, you get the 70% split on, um, memberships, now, the ad money is decent. Um, me, I'm YouTube. I put all my energy effort into YouTube. Twitch, shout out to all. How many people watching me on Twitch right now? Shout out to all 17,000 of y'all watching me on Twitch. Salute to y'all. So, um, well, that's awesome. I mean, you're doing what so many people dream of. So, that's absolutely fantastic. Okay. So, that's fantastic. We can still I, I be very so happy, yeah. happy on that. And then just growing from there. Uh, her link tree is in the description below for those who want to uh, <laughs> check out her stuff. So, that's exciting. Now, you know, she doing, uh, what is it? Fan, not fansly, some, some, some type of version of OnlyFans, guys. Some version of OnlyFans that she like, putting her money into. Where does your financial situation sit today? Where do you think you're at? Give us a little basic summary and then give yourself a score zero out of 10. Okay. My financial situation right now is not good. I think it's actually the worst that it's ever been ever. So I'm glad that I'm here. What? All right, so her financial situation is the worst she's that has been ever. If I am Miss Kip's lawyer, this is seems like this is proof that it's a cash grab. Hey, this is a concrete proof cash grab. And that's what the lawyer's gonna do. They're gonna be like, um, if they don't settle, they're gonna say, Hey, we got this video right here. She says she's in her worst financial situations ever. This is a frivolous cash grab. Please dismiss this case. In like your life? Yeah, yeah, okay. easily. Um, well, I don't know, actually, maybe not my life. When you're young. Because years ago, like my past, I guess I get into a little bit. I like used to be, um, I got cut off when I was 17. So I had to work two jobs while I was still in high school. And then okay. um, the minute I got out of high school, I had those two jobs. I went to college full time at Wayne State. And I um, I had to live there too because oh, of no. the parent situation. And oh my God, guys. She actually had to goddamn work. And we are in an epidemic, guys. Of it's it's happening everywhere. It's sweeping the nation. And if you don't believe me, there is a movement going on. This is the anti-work movement. And for the people who may not want to work, guys, this is a message to the women out there from the bottom of my heart. I want to send you a message for all my my all my female viewers. And all my Adriana subscribers, here's the message I want to send you. You want to pay your bills? You want to pay rent? You want to get Starbucks? You better work, bitch. You want to get groceries? You want to feed your cats? You want to watch Netflix? You better work, bitch. Look, her complaining about her not working, guys, it, it, her having to work, that shit don't mean nothing. Like, bro, I got to work. We got to look. You want, look, Mike Jones, right? If you know about Mike Jones, if you don't, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> if you don't work, you don't eat, you don't grind, you don't shine. And if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Mike Jones. They're like, who? Mike Jones. 281, what is it? 834 8004. Hit me up. Hey, look, anyway. <laughs> Shout out to people who know Mike Jones. Who's like, who? It's Mike Jones. You know, Mr. Back then, host didn't want me. Now I'm streaming. They all own me. You know, anyway, y'all know. And then I also was a wedding videographer. So I had three jobs. Jeez. And I streamed on Twitch. Oh and I took a lot of Adderall. Prescribed. Oh, 
there we go. I'm sorry. I know I was joking, but let me rewind it. Let me rewind it so you guys can hear it. Um, she just slips. She slips up and throws this in there, right? And she's about to dig herself a hole. I um I had to live there too because it's like parent situation. And then I also was a wedding videographer, so I had three jobs, Jeez. and I streamed on Twitch, and I took a lot of Adderall. She took a lot of Adderall. Now she's about to come back around and try to clean it up. Prescribed, but. Well, it said a lot. That makes it sound abused. Well, not abused. <laughs> okay. Prescribed and, and used as not, prescribed. Not abused since we're on YouTube. But um, All right. Not abused since we're on YouTube. I'm, her, I'm the opposing counsel. I'm looking at this shit, and I'm just like, so you're suing my client for $2 million, and you believe you were defamed, and I'm watching this video of you, and I know this has nothing to do with anything, per se. If you were defamed, you were defamed. But I'm looking at your credibility. We see you're in debt and we see you used to take Adderall. And as you said, not a lot since you're on YouTube. So off of YouTube, would you say you've taken a lot of Adderall? I would literally, I would look, I would go so hard on her if I was opposing counsel. And if I'm her lawyer, I'm like, why the hell are you talking about taking Adderall on a fucking financial audit? What are you doing? Are Hello? Hello? Look, I would be, if I'm her lawyer, I'm livid. I'm like, yo, what the, what are you doing? We got a case. We got a case to win. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Um, yeah. I this was filmed recently too, guys. Very recently. Because they looking at it, they're going to show a uh, bank, a, a, a statement that was due, that's due at the end of the month. I worked a lot and, um. I was always like really jealous of like all my friends because their parents would help them with things. And even to this day, I have uh, jealousy uh, over a lot of my friends. But um, are you addicted? What? Are you addicted? To Adderall? Do we have addictions? Yeah. Well, not anymore. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You mean to tell me you were addicted to Adderall? Your honor. What is. Okay. I'll, I'll run it back for you guys and I won't, I won't pause it. I won't look, she, look, you put a microphone in her face and she just synced the case. She'll just sink the case. She'll sink her. She's not sinking the case. She's sinking her credibility. Okay. I, I worked a lot and, um, I was always like really jealous of like all my friends cause their parents would help them with things. And even to this day, I have that jealousy over a lot of my friends, but, um, are you addicted? What? Are you addicted? To Adderall? Do we have addictions? Yeah. Well, not anymore. But, but were okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it wasn't like uh like I love how it feels. It's like I have to work. All right. Addiction is addiction. She's about to try to uh explain it away, saying that she had to work. And look, guys, I've party with people. I may <laughs> I may I may know the effects of Adderall. And typically it's good for focus. If you go to some of these Ivy League schools, every everyone is everyone is on it <laughs> for the most part. You want to pass them tests? Papa Addy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you got anxiety, you can't focus. You literally, you literally could just go in and not focus. And some people are saying, what's she saying? She's about to give you all some chicken bar. That's that's what she's that's what she's about to say, guys. Some chicken bar about how she had to take it for work. No one cares. I'm the opposing town, so I'm like. So is this money going to be supporting your addiction? Like, look, I'm telling you, they're just going to go for her credibility. This com this destroys her credibility because not only is she going to admit to this, she's going to admit to something else later on. <laughs> Work. So it wasn't like a option, I guess. I know like that people who have to stay on camera live for hours and hours and hours tend to get into that stuff. Yeah. 100 percent it's definitely i definitely had trouble trouble with it when i was streaming um but now i don't because and i'm grateful that like i can live comfortably without having to do that and i think that also buys into my spending and how i'm like oh like i i'm not struggling to get by as much as i was okay. um mm. but uh that buys into my spending now and um, okay okay there's been like times when when being a content creator i get a lot of money and then I pay off all my cards. And then I'm like, cool, I'm not going to run these up again. And then I do. All right. So she, there are times when she get a lot of money and then there are times she don't. All right. Now we're going to, we're going to, we're going to fast forward to the eight minute mark. 
Because I said, we're not watching this all. Sorry, guys. We're not watching it all. $6,000 that comes in, are you setting 25% aside minimum? I have money aside. How much do you have to set aside? Um, all right. She's about to talk about how much money she has to her name. Now, if I'm her lawyer, I'm fucking looking at this. I'm watching this because I need to know if this woman can afford to pay me. All right. This is what people don't get. If, look, her lawyer is looking to say, hey, well, how much money do you got? If I'm this kid's lawyer, oh, I'm watching this shit. Like, hey, we're, we're about to watch this and see what we can glean from everything she's saying. We know she's making four to six K a month. OK. And. Now we about to hear about her goddamn debt. Let's, I mean, the money she has in the bank. I have 2000 That's not enough. In an account, in an account. And then I have 900 in an account. And then I have 3000 in Robinhood. But I was trying to save. Roughly $6,000 she has to her goddamn name, guys. Move. Here, you have to pay taxes. Taxes comes before moving. Yeah, but they have a payment plan. Don't do a payment plan. I did a payment plan for 2020. <laughs> All right, so he's giving her some financial advice, and look, I'm a money guy. Uh, I'm, I'm a money guy. Hard should have been in the finance, but I didn't. Don't. She's doing a payment plan for her taxes, and he's like, "Look, don't do a payment plan. You need to be doing something else." Now, look, let's go over to where. Um, now, this may be a little facetious, and if I'm the opposing counsel, I'm using this to my advantage, right? And I'm gonna show you exactly how lawyers can be because I, I I deal with them. I know what they could do. All right. And she's an adult, guys. She's, this is a full-blown 22-year-old woman. And when I when they show you how much date she's in, you're going to trip. You're going to trip. All right, so let's hear this. Years end. left of the best decade of compound growth in your life. It's fantastic. Yeah. You could be incredibly easily a millionaire. Easily a millionaire. Really? But that's if we get out of this. Yes, really. But that's okay. no, but not the way you're <laughs> doing it. All right, so he said this financial expert said she can easily be a millionaire. And if I'm the opposing counsel, right? Look, the opposing counsel's job is just to argue for their client's sake. And they throw shit at the wall to see what sticks. And like, your honor, despite this, this financial expert right here just said with a little hard work and better managing her funds, she could be a millionaire. But she refuses to do it because she has an Adderall addiction. And that, look, that's what the counsel is going to say. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm just saying that that's what they should say. They probably won't say it because... Um, what they'll say is this is kind of low. If you want to embarrass the, the the plaintiff, you you bring this shit up. But it depends on what type of lawyer you have. Do you have a lawyer who want to win? Or do you have a lawyer who want to fucking win by any means necessary? I mean, that that's just how it is, okay? Uh, it, it is what it is, but yeah, yeah let's keep it going. That's the way you're well, doing because it. I think of it this way. I'm young. Yeah, f you're young. That's and why you have the time to get to a million. Yeah. But I'm young and I want to live my life. <laughs> live your life God. and prepare for the future life okay. that you're living. Look, if you're young, right? If you if you under 30, grind, grind, just put in a little effort. Work, work at something. Don't waste your time thinking you need to be out at the club living your life, going into consumer debt, doing stupid stuff like um over buying stuff you can't afford. Work, grind. Now let's hear her mindset. You like, well, what type of mindset does she have? And she is about to snitch on herself. Um, give me a second. Let me keep it going. Thousand five hundred dollars a month, uh, a year is not month when it's not much when you're bringing in four to six thousand dollars a year. Yeah. All right. So looking in here, in this bills account is three hundred seventy four dollars. Yeah, because um, that's my account that I put. I usually keep that at like around 2000 that way or like 3000 i don't know i keep it high because i just oh, yeah. everything's auto pay out of there yeah. i did use it for ikea recently yes you did 100 all right so she's she has this account that she used for bills but um she's doing doing stuff she's shopping in it guys you don't have an account for goddamn bills and then you shop out of it so look he's like hey what the hell is this this account for bills why the hell are you buying shit at ikea Twenty two dollars yeah, I did. I bought a new slab of wood for my desk. Did you need a new slab of wood when we're in debts that you're not paying off? Yeah, because I was making a TikTok. Look, look, God, this is the mindset. This is the mindset. Hey, I'm in debt up to my neck, but I need this new desk, this cover for TikTok to do a TikTok. And now he about to nail her ass to the wall on it. Did the TikTok pay for it? No, no. because TikTok does not pay. Yeah, but I. Okay. I just did my whole setup. I reset it. So it's going to help me be motivated to stream more. Now, I do get her, agree with that. So, look, I'll give her some grace. 
Uh, sometimes when you get new equipment, you're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll stream more. Once I get the desktop, I'll be OBS in it, and then we'll be 1080, 720p, all that good stuff. Um, but we are, we are. Once I get the divorce, I'll be streaming there all the time. All right. So we're making excuses. We're justifying. Then we're paying <laughs> off cards. We're paying off cards. <laughs> we're transferring things around. We have a $10 overdraft. Okay, you okay. overdrafted. Now, this is what I wanted to show you because what she, what what do you think she's about to say, guys? Who do you think got the ten dollar dollar uh, overcharge? Okay, who do you think it's for? Who do you think it's for? You know, you know what what's happening, right? Th this is who she's going to blame, guys. What watch watch what you watch what she says. That's a pause. Okay. So that overdraft is not for me. I never let things overdraft. It is all Jermaine's fault. It's always Jermaine's fault. It's your account. Who else is look, guys? Look, I've been look, <laughs> look. Th the problem, right? If I am the lawyer and I see this, all I all I know is your rent's due, motherfucker. And she is trying to sue my client, Ms. Kiff, to pay her rent because she is. I'm in a bind, Nate. She's in a bind, guys. She's in a bind, and my client, who we gonna see, we gonna talk about Ms. Kiff, is her out. But you still overdrafted, though. Yeah, but it was her fault. So, and I texted her about. Okay, it. so we're we're getting this back in. It was technically someone else's fault, but you still yeah. overdrafted. If you were helping and taking care of someone, you, you we just can't. Do but that I if told her I can't help and take care of her. Like if she wants to use that, that's on her. But you need to be in a position before you do anything, where you're not getting hurt. Why are you in debt taking care of someone else, guys? Never do that, guys. If you're in debt, worry about your goddamn self. Worry about yourself now let's get into her mindset okay because or is this the part where she snitch on herself let me ten dollars taken away overdraft yeah and latitude and we're just paying things off and restore Latitude's what's right. restore okay because you go there every single second of your life restore wait how do you know that because it's all over here okay it's a monthly it's payment first oh, of all yes this is the most telling part of the goddamn interview for the case for the case Listen to what Restore is. Now, you know the rumors about her, okay? You goddamn know it. If you on Twitch, I don't speak Twitch, I don't know nothing about Twitch, you know the rumors about her. This is what I want you guys to listen to and focus on. Seven membership. Monthly payment, my... It is. Okay. And it's my IVs. What are you IVing? Okay, so... I what the hell are you IVing, guys? Do you guys do restore? <laughs> Are men going to restore? Nope. Listen, listen to why she goes to restore. This is such, this is so damaging to her case. I'm her lawyer. I'm flipping out. I may call this guy and say, hey, can you take it down? And he's gonna be like, Nope. She signed the release for. I get IVs because I had a problem with my hair falling out. And when I drink, I can't throw up. So um you see his face. I get IVs because my hair falling out, which is fine. But when I drink, I cannot throw up. Hmm. What does she have a reputation for, guys? In the chat, what, what is her reputation in the Twitch community? What is her reputation for in Austin? What is it? Hmm. Restore. All right. Let's, let's, I'll rewind it a little bit. I'll rewind it. I'll rewind it. Restore. Let's hear her out. Restore. Okay. Because you go there every single second of your life. Restore. Wait, how do you know that? Because it's all over here. Okay. It's a monthly it's... payment, first of all, because I have a membership. Monthly payment? My... It is. Okay. And it's my IVs. What are you IVing? Okay. So I get IVs because I had a problem with my hair falling out. And when I drink, I can't throw up. So um, usually I'll get an IV. That way it like restores, it's in the name, it restores me. It restores her. So when she gets drunk, she can't throw up. So as a part of her getting drunk, she buys restore and it restores her guys. And I know y'all saying it's in the asteroid. <laughs> Look, if I'm her lawyer, I'm like, you just admit it to having a previous Adderall addiction that you won't say it's addiction because we're on YouTube. Um, you're in debt up to your, you know, into your neck up in debt. And now you're saying you take restore it. Now look, he, he's going to smell it. He's going to smell the bullshit and he's going to call her out on it. Does it work? 
Yeah, it does. Because I can't throw up. So when I drink and I feel like really disgusting, I can't just be like, Ugh, which I wish I could. But um, I get IVs instead. I, I guess I could I go know. without it. I mean, I don't, I don't know anything about it. And we're just paying off cards and we're just paying bills. Yeah, that's, I don't know that's anything my about it. I'm not going to talk on science. I do not know. It's okay. So I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, he's about to call her out of it because I have my notes here. And the part he's about to say is... But you could also just not drink. Yeah, I haven't been drinking recently, so. Oh, not the best habit, drinking, but. Okay, the, this is the checking account. We have a thousand four hundred fifty. All right, so she kind of dodged around it. Let me, but um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So now what we've established, as if I'm her lawyer, I am very pissed off at my client. You've admitted to being broke. You've admitted how much money you make. Um, you've admitted to not streaming as much. You've admitted to having a former um. Adderall addiction. You've admitted that when you drink, you need restore to restore yourself, which means in my mind, it could be getting abused and to the point where you need restore. And if you drink and you have to restore yourself, there's a problem. That That's a real problem. Maybe I stop drinking. Okay. Indefinitely. But if you say you can't or you slow down, then now we have to worry about, is this an addiction? So if I'm her lawyer, I'm not the happiest, but if I'm Miss Kiff lawyer, I'm like, oh, I'm Birdman hand rubbing. I'm like, look, we only watched 13 minutes of this, and I think we, I think we can make a case that this person, uh, formerly abused Adderall, maybe allegedly abusing alcohol, they're up to their neck in debt, and this is just nothing more than a frivolous cash grab, Your Honor, a frivolous cash grab. All right. Now, look, that look, lawyers got a lawyer because the only people winning this case is the lawyers. They like Adriana. <laughs> hey, she filed this case. Miss Kid's lawyer is going to get paid. Adriana's lawyer. We're going to we're going to get to that. Now, let's look at her mindset, guys. And I know I'm, I'm going in because I want to I want to get I want to get to the bottom of this. We're going to look at her mindset at the 23 minute mark and then we're going to go to the kind of the end of it. And her mindset is reminiscent of most, um, I ain't going to say most, but a decent amount of people. And I think I lost all my female audience. <laughs> all my female audience like, don't, you know, they stick together. But so, salute to them. Okay. So why are we doing this? Oh, you want to know why I got an iPad? I don't give a shit. Tell me okay. why you're spending this money. Okay. Anyways. Why is she spending all this goddamn money? Let's get, let's get, let's, let's understand her logic, guys. Let's understand how she thinks. I'm spending this money because I have a spending problem. So what's the mentality? I'm not, I'm not validating it. I'm just explaining no, 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 to you no, no, no. why. Oh, what's the spending? Let's get to the root of the spending problem. Okay, this why is are the you spending? Root of my spending problem. Um Avoid women with this mindset. And I know I don't do dating advice generally, but this shit is just screaming so many red flags. I'm like. She has a she has a spending problem too, Your Honor. Like, you're she admitted all this? Yeah, Your Honor. A spending problem? Yeah, spending problem. And she wants my client to fund the spending problem. Uh, look, if I'm her lawyer, I'm like, God damn. We already have a hard enough case. Now you you adding things to the case that don't need to be there. She like, but I wanted exposure. I wanted to. We're in Austin. We wanted to do the collab. I grew up pretty poor. And now I make a lot of money every month. And I'm like, yeah, I'm that B word. Um, because I make this money in the back of my mind subconsciously, I know consciously that I shouldn't be spending this money, but subconsciously I'm like, I deserve it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wear her. I can't look Adriana, Adriana. Shh. Shh. Look, your honor, she's that B word. Okay, she's making a lot of money. <laughs> Either you're making a lot of money or you need some money from my client. Which one is it? Because now I'm confused. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm confused. <laughs> like, <laughs> send it. So, why is the conscious, rational understanding of you don't have money, we're in bad debt, we're losing a lot because of interest rate? Why is that being overcome by the emotional? Yeah. Um, Hmm. No good answer. I would like to say mental illness, but that's not, that's just a joke. Um, okay, now she's joking about mental illness, Your Honor. Like, what? <laughs> and most of them do, guys. They, they'll, they'll run to the mental illness ASAP. You start, you start nailing their ass down, like, oh, I, 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 got, I got mental illness. I can't think. I'm like, yo, what the? <laughs> but 
it is probably very impulsive and that is a problem. But I'm in therapy. Good. And I talked to my therapist about this. About this specifically? All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Have you tr- because yeah. one time I had a really bad incident where I thought the world was ending and I spent $500 at H-E-B. Oh, my goodness. Look, all right. Look, look, look. <laughs> now, look, we're about to just get – we just about to go to the end of it, right? And I'm going to tell you exactly what her lawyer is going to be thinking. So he's about to break down her debt, okay, and how much she owes. <laughs> and y'all are about to see exactly how much she owes. <laughs> And this it comes off very immature, guys. Very immature. And you know, I'll, I'll I'll do a message for her at the end. And then kill that as quick as you can. Then kill your car as quick as you can. And then most likely kill your student loans as quick as you can as well. So this is a dumb question. I'm going to ask you. <laughs> ask me. When can I buy a house? All right. Look, you you got so much debt. Now you're asking when can you buy a house? Like, uh, mm. and he gonna give her a, a decent answer. Um, she still can't get a house. It's just no time soon. Uh, in a bit we'll get we'll get there. Actually, it's thirty seven thousand dollars. So that's before we calculated. So actually, your debt is because I forgot about the nine thousand new nine thousand dollars student loans. So $46,490 is your debt. All right. Price is wrong, fellas. Uh, She has $46,490 in debt. Okay. Now, from her lawyer's point of view, right? If I am her lawyer, I am concerned. Am I going to get paid? Because this is, um, this is alarming. If I am her lawyer, I may be concerned. I may be like, um, because when you when you go sign up for a lawsuit, guys, you have to complete like a financial affidavit saying how much money you have, how much debt you have, all that good stuff, because the lawyers want to know if they're going to get paid. And if I'm her lawyer, I'm like, um, I just saw this video. Uh, you admitted to a lot of things that I, I wish you wouldn't have. But what's most alarming is you're said you're forty six thousand dollars in debt. That's credit card debt. That's her car. That's pretty much everything. Which is look, most of this debt is from the credit card debts. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, if I'm her lawyer, I have some very hard questions for myself that I have to think about. Uh, do I want to continue this case, and how do I want to do it? Uh, because you want to make sure, like, hey, the retainer. You pay the retainer up front, but once you run through the retainer. I need I may need her to pay me another retainer. Okay. Now, if the lawyer is, hey, we got a rock solid case. This is a slam dunk. Um, the evidence you have that I've not released yet, they're gonna settle and I'm gonna get paid regardless. I am gonna do this case on consignment. And since I'm doing this case on consignment, I only want 33% of whatever you win. Now, should you lose? We just both walk away, okay? But sometimes I don't know the I don't know the agreement with her lawyer. If it's consignment or if it's pay by the hour, you know what I'm saying? You never know because if she can, if she can, if she has the evidence, game over. Um, if not, it's gonna be a problem. Now, let's talk about let's talk about our guy, our guy Miss. I can't do this with you anymore. You are not a victim okay, here. I'm, you have never not, been a victim okay, here. Okay. I'm done speaking okay, with I'm you. Done you done are- Stop talking!